Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mactronic Questions and today I want to have a look at how to add videos into iBooks. You have a couple of choices here. Do you put it directly into the iBook where you've got the overhead of carrying that extra load of megabytes within the file or do you have links to it where the file is external? There are pros and cons of both ways of doing it. Let's have a look and see what we can do about getting video into your iBooks. Here is a video I've already dropped into iBooks. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is go up to the widgets thing there and select media. Drop it in. You can give your viewer or reader something to look at when they open the book by putting in an image or a video in there. It makes it look a bit more professional. But if you want to keep the size of your book down then maybe what you want to do is to have a video on YouTube accessible from within your book. Now how about that for an idea? One way to do this would be to have a link to the YouTube video or you can have a picture that looks like a start of a video with a little triangle on the front of it and your viewer clicks on it and it takes them out into YouTube. The only trouble with that is, is that it takes them away from your book. So a better idea would be to have the video playing in your iBook but actually coming in from the YouTube site. Now we can do that using one of the widgets where we use dash code to put it in there. We can do it easiest using hype. So let's open up the Hype application and see what we can do. I've already put some text in there and I've uh, dragged and dropped a video in there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to do it. Hype is an amazing application that lets you do animations and all that sort of thing with HTML5. But for the moment let's just use it to put some video into our iBook. The first thing to do is to select a HTML widget and over on YouTube we will have taken the embed code which we've got from the share part of the YouTube video and we can paste it here into this wee box. You might decide that you want to put a reflection on the video there and you can do that from within Hype. So the next thing to do is to go to the file menu and then choose on the dashboard iBooks author widget and save it out. So in the save dialog give it a name and make a note of where you're saving it to and then let's go back to the iBooks author application. So then you go to your widgets icon and then hit HTML and that will put in the HTML box for us. All we're going to do now is to choose the dash code HTML file. We have that in our documents folder. Click that, click insert. So let's just tidy things up a little bit. We don't need to have a title I don't think. We don't need to have a background. And in this area where the caption is, what we can do is we can put a note in there to say that this is only going to work if you are connected to Wi-Fi. So let's just change the size of this and make it so that it fits the page a little bit better. So now we've got it centered on the page and it's all looking good. So that'll do for the moment. And for our next trick, what we're going to do is we're going to open up iBooks on the iPad and we're going to have to click on the preview button at the top here. So when we go over to our iPad we'll be able to see that the document has been updated. So on the page now we have our widget which is put in there from Hype. We tap on it and it goes full screen. It all looks as good as it did over in Hype. And now all we've got to do is to tap on this button here to start the movie playing in our iBook. So here we can see that it is connecting up and buffering, but that's just because I've got a crappy internet. So first of all I'll just tap on pause and then I'm going to click on this button here to show that you can go full screen with this. So now you know that it is possible to host your video outside your iBooks application and also to still have it viewed within the iBooks itself rather than the person having to be taken off to another application. Do have a look at the other Mac 20 Questions videos about iBooks Author and all my other videos too. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you tap on the subscribe button now, you'll be able to know about all of the Mac20Q videos as soon as they become available. Bye bye now.